everyone. This is Russ Colquin from Wetsuit Survival. I wanted to show you something today I found in the woods recently. It's a uh, big, huge, old sycamore tree that can serve as a um, field expedient shelter. Rather than waste time making a shelter, you can find stuff like this in the woods if you know where to look. Now, this one's going to look obviously like a shelter. It looks like a little forest gnome house, so it stands out. If you would come across this thing, you'd say, man, I could live there. Um, so let's go take a look at it. It's right here behind me, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so uh, this is the uh, this is the little forest gnome house. Um, it uh, It's a huge old sycamore tree. This is on the Wabash River in, uh, in Indiana. Sycamores are all over the place um, along this river, and they're huge and they're old. This one's kind of, this is still alive, but it's knocked over. Uh, it's, or it's growing at an angle, and you can see other uh, trees have fallen into it. But here's the good stuff. Um, this is the, the big open area underneath the tree um, coming from the roots, and it goes back, I would say, maybe a good five feet. Uh, you can see that there's gaps underneath. And those could be quickly filled with uh, grass and leaves and that sort of material. Uh, I went inside of it, flashlight, checked it out. Uh, it goes up in there, and it's critter-free. That's something you want to check whenever you look at a stump or an overturned tree or uh, big downed logs. You want to check for um, other critters that have had the same idea as you to use it as a shelter. Um, and nobody has on this one. There's going to be spiders and that type of thing, and if you warm up the shelter and it's cold uh, weather, it'll warm them up and they'll think it's spring and they'll start coming out, but if, you know, spiders don't bother you, don't worry about it. It's not like they're going to be tarantulas. Um, so right here I've got one clump of um, grass and debris that I picked up along the river. It's in huge clumps because the water washes it up and it gets stuck in um, thorns and branches along the riverbanks. This is just one handful I just grabbed. I could go back and get about 10 or 12 more and fill in all those cracks back there and then start making a bed back there. Here's where, you know, right there you kind of make a fire. You can see the snow's right in there. Um, I threw an old pack there just to, for an example of the size. But there you have it. You could get nice and cozy in there. Um, no critters. There's no uh, animal traffic along here that I could see other than small possums and raccoons going down to the river, but not along, you know, not through here. There's no animal poop in here, so no one is using this as a, any kind of shelter for themselves. It'd be perfect. So, like I said, this is pretty obvious. You can find smaller versions of these type of trees along here. There's two other ones along here that would also be suitable, but they're not quite as big. You'd have to sit in them and make a fire kind of at your feet, and it would keep you warm and out of the elements. Uh, but you probably wouldn't be able to sleep. This one you could sleep in. You could build a fire and you could sleep in. Um, it's also completely camouflaged from the other side, from the river side. Um, the pros and cons of that obviously are if you want to be found, it's going to be hard for anyone to find you when you're in this thing. So you might want to mark it with something bright. But that's it. It's pretty cool. I thought it was kind of neat. I'd share it with all you. See ya.